Hey everyone, Merrick here, and this is Lacuna Passage. And uh, it's a new game that just released from Embargo, and I was able to get a uh, key from the devs, and I'm really excited to cover it. Just a quick note here, it does hit early access on the 17th of May, so that's pretty exciting. Um, don't know much about it other than you're exploring Mars, so let's find out what's waiting for us in a good old-fashioned story mode. Um... Oh, well, we're going to read this coming in a future update. Uh, the only survivor of Crash Heracles' mission investigates the disappearance of the first ever manned mission to Mars. With several tools at her disposal, most importantly, her skills of observation, Jessica needs to uncover mission logs, recorded audio files, and other physical clues left behind the critical mission locations in order to uncover the story. An interplanetary trail of breadcrumbs awaits. Oh my god, I can't wait to have that. Oh, it's like Infra, but on Mars. I guess we go sandbox. Okay, we'll go, we'll go sandbox. Survival sandbox, new game. That wasn't. We didn't have a button here, right? Okay, just make just making sure I didn't miss it. I miss things. It happens. Waking up in a landing pod, you must check your equipment and venture out on the red Martian soil in search of nearby habitat. With 20 plus square miles of the red planet to, to explore, you must gather resources for randomized points of interest, supply caches, and other habitats to survive. Help us test the fundamentals of the game mode, which will carry out or carry over into story mode in a later update. Ooh, <laughs> base building on Mars from a first person perspective survival? Yes, please. Ooh. I'm very excited if you guys can't tell. I have no idea what, what's, what's in store for us. Like I said, I literally installed it today, booted it up, and I am recording it. Um, my navigation's offline. I have heavy breathing. I can't hear anything. Oh. Crashing sound. Oh. We sad to move. I'm free! My landing pod is... Oh, 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 oh. Um, I don't have a cursor. Oh, arrow keys, okay. Vitals. Oh, there is a lot of stuff that we're going to have to know. And oh. That looks sort of like a cross-section of like muscle. Okay, so I don't have navigation. Hmm. Oh, scanner is on. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. I bet we'll have that one day. Oh, I hit E and that brought my inventory up. R reloads my gun, right? I don't have a gun. Because this is storage. Um. Inventory. Oh, you can, you can still move with it out. Okay. All items. So we've got some water. We've got some food, some peanuts, rice cakes. We have a heating element. Some solar panel that looks messed up. Okay. Left click to interact. I'm, I'm left clicking. Oh, it's in the back. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. I learned. Um... I don't want to deposit anything right now, I don't think. All right, let's hit Q. We're 89% oxygen, so it's very quiet. Now I know I had, they had the music. Can I jump? Oh, I can! Yay, jumping! Okay, it looks like that's the only place. Okay, that's sprinting. We're going to sprint. It's going to burn our oxygen at a higher rate, but I think it'll be worth it. Are those auto turrets... I don't think they're bad guys here. I think this is a true to life. We just made it to Mars situation and there aren't aliens to deal with. We're just a sole survivor trying to, oh, there's zoom, middle click zooms, habitat discover and add it to navigation. Right click zooms also right now. Um, solar mount two, we have a solar panel, right? Check status of habitat life support systems via one of the consoles in the airlock. Um, repair slot. Okay. I 
how do I it's a mount point but how do I mount a solar panel on it I don't know RTG unit okay RTGs popularized by the fact that they are nuclear radiations sources but they offer a bunch of um long-term energy potentials as long as they don't crack also really oh there's flashlight f key um they really became popular of course with the book and or or and, and then movie Ooh, power's offline reserve power is offline airlock is depressurized it's cold um oxygen is good but it's not producing any okay let's see if we can go we've got plenty of air left right now let's go see if we can turn some stuff on um it was popularized in the martian movie as well so let's see um diagnostic console run diagnostics Okay. The water reclaimer habitat modules are responsible for harvesting water from the Martian soil and reclaiming wastewater used to adjacent habitat. Primary components are accessible for repair and replacement are circuit board. Circuit board is not necessary for module operate, but without one, you'll be unable to run diagnostics. Three functional fuses required. And at least one fuse is required to run component diagnostics. Okay. So how do I how do I turn it on? I thought this was it was good. I don't know. Let's go check. Oh, storage tanks. Okay. Well, we've got water. Power switch. On. Reoxygenator heater, electro modules back online. Alright, so we've got oxygen and heating online. So now let's go over here and run some diagnostics. Everything is good except for filter one. The carbon filters are down on that one. Storage tanks. We're, our integrity is fine. I think we're good there. We're just going to go ahead and power that back on. Our RTG is good. Get the modules heater and electrical back online. Okay. 110% local unit power. Uh, everything looks okay. We have our fuses. Oh, there's a repair panel. Oh, neat. Um, I'm going to leave it like that and just let it ride for now. It has enough to operate, so I think we're okay to do that. Man, the lack of sound is just really disconcerting. I might have to turn the, uh, turn the audio on or the music on just to get a little sound, you know, there's our RTG unit. Okay. Habitat Alpha is fully operational. You're welcome. Mission objectives updated on datapad. My question is, who set all this up? Because this was not rover built. I mean, I understand this thing is a giant rover. Hab door. There's only one hab door. We're really risking a whole Martian blowout style thing. Okay. We've loaded into our hab. Am I out of my spacesuit? I think so. Oh, no, there's two hab doors. Craft items. Ira. Ira. Quick Shape XL. I bet that's a 3D printer. Check hab status. 
airlock pressurized interior temperature is a nice comfortable negative four degrees it's warming up okay um materials can't deposit any i have a weak bonding agent carbon filter switch to deposit i don't know we'll, we'll keep everything in our pocket for right now equipment carbon filter we'll take the carbon filter outside uh, oxygen was down on that consumables um let's go ahead and deposit some keep the water on us I think our hunger is okay yeah we're, we're at good vitals on that I'm, I'm left clicking to interact I can't open that okay I don't I don't hear anything let me let me check the audio here Okay, there is no Okay, I had I had the master audio down. I thought that we could turn the music off, but no. There's only one audio. I apologize for that, guys. We have audio now. Oh, that's our shower. Oh, nice. Well, we now live in a box. I can't run inside my box. I just realized that. Okay. Can't interact with tab door. Consider disabling headlamp or scanner for to save remaining battery life. Wait, this thing has a battery? Oh, it does. Oh, my battery is dog shit on that, too. Uh, no crafting plans. Salvaged items. I don't want to salvage that. I'm, I'm really concerned about things now and I don't know why I can't don't know why I can't uh... sleep is what I was trying to say um... let's take a uh, granola bar out as well We go to vitals. We're less green as we were, but we should be okay. Um, no photos. Keep hitting escape to go back on the level. Weather's okay. Let's see here. Documents. Equipment. Okay, we've already done that. Backspace takes me all the way to there. Okay. Inventory. Let's go ahead and eat that and drink some water. Alright. We're gonna head out and see what we can see outside. See what it sounds like. I keep hitting E to try to interact with the door. So how do I get my suit on? Do I just... Okay. We're putting our suit on now, I guess. That's the quote-unquote loading action. Hey. Oh. Oxygen and battery are now auto-replenished from exterior model reserves. Supplies when leaving the habitat. Okay, so we're good on that. So I guess how do we get navigation back online there's that okay there's a point of interest over there I don't know how far away that is but now I feel bad I hit about hitting shift all the time because this guy's a he's a real breather in this suit of course, we are carrying around a whole bunch of crap. 
I did not deposit much of my inventory, if anything, really. And I was like, I might need it. It's Mars. You never know when you're going to need something in your pocket. Ah, please don't content strike me. Oh, this is so pretty. It just kind of struck me that I am absolutely and utterly alone, and I have no comms. Like, like none whatsoever. So if I fall off this cliff, that's it for me. What the hell is that? What is that? How far away is that? Shit. That was a rock. I wish I freaking had like a, a rangefinder on this. Uh, we are going way further than I meant to. It's on top of that s that third hill out there. We're gonna have to be real careful with our oxygen. We're already at 83%. And it's really dark out. Oh wow, look at the lighting on this. This is beautiful. Oh man, this is so beautifully done. Oh yeah. This just... This is exactly what I like about survival games like this. I will probably die trying to get to this stupid red spot, but... At least I'm trying. We're giving it our, our, our all. We're giving it our best shot. Ooh, we are at 77%. We are burning that oxygen. Oh man, it is so far away. We are now too far away from our base to see it. So, unfortunately, I know that it's directly to my rear and about 20% of my oxygen away. So as long as I've got 40% by the time I turn around, I should be able to make it. It's just, it's so eerily quiet. We had a weird loading glitch there. I don't think it was a glitch. I think it was just a loading thing. Okay, let's turn our flashlight off. Or, I mean, our, our uh, scanner off. Oh, man. Probably didn't need to have the scanner on the whole time we were running up here. What is this? Way station discover and add it to navigation. Oh, it's a little science station. All right. Let's open the panel. Let's put a fuse in here. Repair slot. Replace component. I hear something. Install that. Did it work? I don't think I can climb up there. Oh, there. Run diagnostics. We have a fuse. Our circuit board is pretty okay. I'm going to turn on. Power on, navigation enabled. So we have nav now. All right. Weather monitoring enabled. Uh, 
Unlike Habitat Extreme where these stations provide their own power via a small attached solar panel, onboard systems various station can run on internal battery backup during dust storms. Power can be turned on and off via a button on the diagnostics console. Similarly, have exterior models are recommended power be turned off before performing maintenance on electrical components. Oh! Circuit board is necessary for improved navigation assistance. If you are within data communication range power to waste that has a functional circuit board, it will extend the range of your suit's scanner. This connection also provides you with your own position. Oh. Uh, circuit board allows component diagnostics. Only one functioning fuse is required. Got it. Okay. Let's check weather. It's really cold. That's what that tells me. Um, navigation. So... So we want to place a custom objective to like right there. That's home. I was hoping to have like a little bottle of oxygen for me, but all right, we're headed back. We're gonna have to slow roll it. It's gonna be tight. We're going a thousand meters. I don't think it's meters. Because we're not moving a meter a second. I don't know what this is. Is it feet? That doesn't seem right either. Now we have a navigation system online. We could probably pop up this and scan for their stuff. Oh, there's a thing. We'll have to come back for it. Is that on our map? I don't see it. This is really inefficient. I can't use my mouse on it right now. Alright, you know what? We'll come back for whatever that is over there. That. For now, we're going to head to our HAB unit and refill our batteries and our oxygen. Oh, this is going to be a really fun game where we can get into some serious trouble. We're going to run up this hill. Come on! We can do this. I could never run up this hill in a full spacesuit. I'm so damn out of shape. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, we got low. Alright, we're going the right way. Low battery. Probably save some battery by not flashing that at me. Okay. Oh, I like that there's there's a little bit of flashing down here on my internal HUD. You see it flashing on my uh, on my helmet. That's a really nice touch. God, this game is so beautiful. We're loading back into our area. Pop that so we still see that but now we see um, our landing pod which we'll probably go back to and see if we can salvage uh, we don't want to go directly over the mountain here that's gonna that's gonna cost us time and potentially lead to injury oh here we go now that we have nav online that's that's gonna be really useful Twenty percent or forty percent would have been really cutting this close. All right. Yeah, I know. I just want to see. It's so pretty. It is uh, thirty minutes past midnight. I know. I like that you can just like. Press shift once and he goes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Yes, I'm burning oxygen for giggles. There's our baby right there. Lit up, beautiful, full of power. 
and happy juice. Mm-hmm. 31% oxygen remains. Build more pylons. Man, I would be so freaked out alone on a planet in real life. Just be like, there's, there's got to be something out there trying to get me. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm disappointed. I don't see any constellations. That might be Orion's belt, but it doesn't look right. No, I don't see the, the bow. I don't know if that's... I don't know. I don't know my constellations well enough to, to say for sure whether that's our night sky or not. Something tells me that if it is, it's not going to be one I'm going to recognize. All right. Upstairs. 25% oxygen. Yeah, I would have been... I would have been hurting. Whew. I'm glad we made it. Can you sleep? You can. Cool. Alright, we're gonna drop some stuff off here. So I think we're gonna go salvage next time. Uh, let's switch. Deposit that. Deposit that. Deposit that. We'll deposit that. Actually, you know what? We'll get the circuit board back out. We'll take the circuit board with us. And the fuse, so that if we have to, uh... If we have to repair something, we can. How are my vitals? I've got to be getting tired. Below normal electrolytes, above normal blood cell count, below normal trace vitamins, 700 calories. I'm rested, below normal blood oxygen. So my oxygen was low. Um, we need to eat. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll rest. Yeah, everything's fine in here. Good temperature, good oxygen levels, good water levels. Um, apparently I cannot get water from the sink. So that's going to be fun. Let's have... Let's pull 16 water and some kidney beans. Go ahead and eat the kidney beans and eat the water. I think my vitals are better. 1,000 calories, normal trace vitamins. We'll eat again in the morning and then we'll have to head out. Food is already a concern. Okay. Oh, that's saved. Alright, cool. Um, let's see how brutal that is. Let's see if it's... If it's... Uh, um, oh god, what is that? You're, you're stuck on a tundra. You're, you're in a plane crash. I can't remember the name of the game. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. So we're gonna have to eat again. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Grab. We have new food. Raisins. Let's go with dried beef. And then we're going to head out to that interesting spot tomorrow. Okay, let's see. Home vitals. Ooh, that dried beef didn't do much for me unless it didn't apply. Nope, dried beef is bad. We need like the granola bar. 
Damn, that sucked. Dried beef, no bueno. Wish water gave us calories. Vitals, they'll have to do. We gotta get. We gotta go, go, go. Okay. Hab door. Got it. Let's bounce. Okay, so we're gonna try to find out what was that the other little beacony thing that was way out there. I'm not real confident in our ability to make it on the oxygen that we're going to have available. It's a freaking beautiful day, though. So it's right behind us. Could have swore there was one over there, too. But there's one right behind us, so we'll go to the one right behind us and see what's up with that. What a beautiful place. 97% O2. I'm not going to run. Um, I don't know how far away this is, and that almost bit us in the ass. I'm leaving the custom marker, by the way, so that just that's home. That's where we've got it. So that's where we're going to leave it. Hmm. One of those, I think, is the, the escape or the the crash pod, right? I don't know. Maybe. Mm, I really want to run. We're gonna run a little bit. I'm really impatient. That is. I think our landing pod. I don't remember it being over there, though. It looks like our landing pod. We'll swing by that one on the way back. Man, I hope we can upgrade our oxygen capacity on this suit. Although, <laughs> that's exactly what you, you want to do. You want to be a NASA scientist stranded on a planet who's making alterations to their suit. My god, look at this place. It's so pretty. And yet, so desolate. Oh man, we're way over time, but I really want to know what this is. We'll run a little bit. Yeah. This is going to be one of those games I get addicted to and just dump hours in. Ooh, what's over the ridge? What's over the ridge? What's over the ridge? Another ridge. Ooh, wait, there's another weather station over there. Oh, hold on. That could be huge. That weather station's definitely going to be huge. But this may be another hab. It's getting a new kind of box. Looks like our, our scanner is doing a little bit of work on it. You see that? That is another weather station. That is some extra stuff behind this mound here. We've used 23% of our oxygen. Oh, remote outpost added to navigation. Hello, nurse. Canister, large. Oh, daddy, that's so good. Look at all that food. Yeah. Oh, man, all the supplies. A toolbox with some noodles in it? Hell yeah. Oh, that's huge for us. This is the Hermes S1. Really don't know what this does. 
It gives us oxygen. Holy crap, that's awesome. Is this water? Or is this the, uh... Is this what converts or creates the oxygen? Light, click to interact. Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna withdraw those. But I, I want to know if it's like one-time use. I don't know. Chlorine tank low and impacting your health. Oh, calorie intake is low and impacting my health. Chlorine tank. I'm sitting here standing on a tank going, is this the chlorine tank? Oh. Well, I mean, you know, if you're hungry, we have some water for you. I meant to click on that. Well, here, have chocolate dipped cookies and a granola bar. Yeah, whiner. And then we're going to wrap it up. We'll, oh. Did I just, did I just drop this? I did. Can I not eat? There's no way to eat in my suit. They don't have a food delivery system or a water delivery system. This is, this is a good thing to know. Um, we're really far away from our base. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it up here. We're, we're going to die due to starvation, it looks like. Um, ooh, that's navigation. I'm looking at vitals here. Yeah. So we're probably going to die. But that's okay. We're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, family, comment, suggestions, storm in the comment section below. This will be back next week in place of Atomic Society. So we're going to be doing a lot more dingling around uh, in the future on this game. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, family, comment, suggestions in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time. <laughs>